What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is a historic moment. This is the first Genesis on the channel. GV80. Let's check it out. I must apologize for any kind of bad audio you may hear as it is quite windy outside. You know, because of course it is. But anyway, let's see what we've got. Woo. Pretty good back here, honestly, except for a couple little pops right here, which they have now gone away. Maybe because some, nobody's ever put pressure in that spot before. Let's check out the front. One little bit of attention to detail I like about this already is the area where my knee rests. It's nice and padded with stitching. I don't see a lot of other cars do that. They have like a speaker here or something like that. And then when you rest your knee, you bend the speaker a little bit. Not in this case. That's pretty nice.
And now time for the button test. And now for the final button. Only 11,000 miles. All right, how did it do? As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I've actually never been in one of these newer Genesis cars before. I've not reviewed one on the channel and I have not been inside one. I haven't driven this car, by the way. I'm kind of stuck filming this uh, up on this pad here. So I can't move it. I wish I could get a little bit more privacy, a little bit better lighting. My initial impressions are pretty good actually, so uh, materials is definitely strong in this car compared to a Hyundai or a Kia counterpart. What do we have? We have a lot of soft touch going on here. Now, maybe some of you guys are experts in the comment section. The material on these upper areas of the door and on the dash. It's hard to tell if it's a soft touch or if it's a real leather. It doesn't feel as good as other real leather I felt on other cars, but it feels better than any other soft touch that I felt at the same time. So if this is soft touch, this is very good soft touch. But let me know in the comments if it's actually soft touch or leather. I am, uh, I'm not 100%. So that's all over the place. We have like not as nice soft touch in these lower parts of the car. We have real wood, it appears. Uh, this is like an exposed grain wood or an open pour wood, whatever you want to call it. I always like to see that in a car. Love the metal speaker grills, by the way. We have what feels like fake leather seats to me. Again, I could be wrong. I don't know a ton about these cars, so please let me know in the comment section uh, what, what these are. Again, they feel like fake leather, but they're still acceptable. And then we have cloth headliner 
and cloth sun visor. And here's what I'm really thinking about. It's the buttons and the switch gear. So a lot of it looks pretty good and it has like sort of this, uh, this knurling theme going on. I feel like they're trying to copy Bentley here. Well, they've already copied Audi, just like the Lincoln Corsair. They copied the Audi Q7 with the continuing front climate vent here. They got the, the fake vent in the middle. A lot of cars are jumping on that bad and again now I see. We got the fake knurling going on here. It's all plastic designed to look like metal. So not real metal buttons like on a Bentley. This car doesn't cost nearly as much though so gotta cut this a little bit of slack but initially it does feel good to the touch. Like for example this gear selector it's a little bit funky, a little bit different but again it feels okay to the touch. And then the surface of some of these buttons, like on the steering wheel and whatnot, they, they do feel kind of plasticky. They're, they don't have a really tight feel when you, uh, when you click down on a button, for example. They look good. All these buttons in here actually look pretty good. So for materials, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Again, it impressed me uh, quite a bit. As far as the fit and finish goes, a couple of places did have kind of a loud squeak, but it's almost like it was settling, like the materials are settling, like nobody actually touched that part of the car before, and then when I pressed that area again, it was gone. So I noticed a couple spots like that in the car, but then afterwards, everything seemed to be pretty fine. But this was mostly pretty solid. I did notice a little bit of squeaking from the screen, but that's from the plastic on the back of the display. It's not coming from the bezel or the screen itself. That's actually put together pretty well. Otherwise, fit and finish in this car is pretty solid. It was better than I was expecting it to be. So I think I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for that. So there you guys have it. Final score is 8 out of 10 for fit and finish. 7 out of 10 for materials. Pretty good score, actually. Again, I have not driven this car as of yet. I have not gotten it on the road. I have no idea what it feels like, so I cannot comment on that, but I hear good things about this car. It saved Tiger Woods life, so it has to be good for something. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna try to make more frequent uploads, emphasis on the try part, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.